Okay, hey, hey guys. Today we are going to uh, start drawing the practice tug of war vehicle drawing. So this is a practice tug of war vehicle. It's actually missing the two motors because we're going to learn about those and how to put them on. But you can see here that this is just a printout of a 3D model I made of one. Okay. All wood is three-quarter inches thick. So the tug-of-war vehicles are made out of three-quarter inch thick wheels, three-quarter inch thick body panels, and they're hollow in the middle. Okay, we're going to draw this half size, so the same scale as the uh, fixture base. Okay, so we're going to get started. Um, I'm going to keep an eye on the time of this. I'm thinking I'm just going to do the, uh, the front and top view. So let me do the usual and just do our quarter inch borders and half inch title box. Okay, so... I'll just uh, go here, quarter inch borders, quarter inch borders, okay so we're doing this drawing to familiarize you with how to draw a basic tug of war vehicle drawing, a uh, basic tug of war vehicle. So, let me get these done here. Okay, half inch title box, start at the 12, I'll make a mark at 11 and a half. Okay, and I might as well do my two eighth inch guidelines, eighth of an inch, eighth of an inch. Okay, make my light lettering guideline nice and light. Just with the weight of the pencil. Okay, I'll break it up at five nine twelve. And let me pull those down. Okay, so name all caps. Title is Practice TOWV for Tug of War Vehicle. So, Practice. T O W V and the scale is going to be half inch equals one. Okay, so for this project, we're actually going to move it up a little bit, so away from the half inch title box. So we're going to go over two inches, and then up two inches and make a dot, over two, up two, make a dot. And I'm gonna make a, uh, a light line across here, okay? I'm just gonna make a, uh, a very light line. Well, actually, if I look at this here, the overall length of the car is seven and a quarter inches, okay? Yours will actually be allowed to be up to 12 inches long, but I made this one seven and a quarter. And you can see the wheels are just touching the edges here on this drawing. 
So I'm going to actually make this line seven and a quarter inches long. Okay, so I'm going to ha go to the half size. Okay, so half size. I'm going to start at a quarter inch mark behind the zero and then go all the way to seven. Okay, so I'll start at a quarter inch behind the zero and I'll go to seven. And I'll make a mark here. Okay, so for, for this, the way that I, I do this lesson is that line represents the bottom of the body. It doesn't represent the ground or the bottom of the wheels. It rep represents the bottom of the body. So I'm now, now going to find out how far up I'm going to go, which is two inches. The body's two inches tall. I'm going to finish this rectangle. So I'm going to go up two inches, make a mark. T square triangle. Okay, and then and cut that off, and I'll just get an eraser shield and just clean that up. Okay, so I have my body panel. Now, if you, if you look at this, there are, the car's hollow. They're not solid blocks of wood. They're actually hollow boxes, and they, most of them don't have a, a floor. You could see right through them. So I want to draw these two pieces of wood, okay? And since they're behind this panel, they will be shown with hidden lines coming down, okay? All the wood is three quarter inches thick. So if I measure in from this edge three quarter inches and draw a hidden line down, and in three quarter inches draw a hidden line down, that will suffice. Okay, that's how you show them. So three quarter inches on the half inch scale, you start at zero, okay? One quarter, two quarters, three quarters. Okay, so I'll, on this side, I'll start at the three quarter inch mark. And then on this side, I'll start at the zero and go back three quarter inches. Okay, so I have those two little marks right over here. And now I'm going to draw my hidden lines. Okay, so nice short dashes, do these nice and clean. Okay, I'll do this one over here. Okay, all right. <clears throat> so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna focus on locating the axles. The axles are these round rods that support the wheels. So we have axles in our real cars and those axles transfer the force of the engine, okay? So the power of the engine spinning into the transmission and then from the transmission, it goes into the axles and then the axles in turn turn the wheels and the tires and make the car move, okay? This is gonna perform very similar, similar to that. So for our car, here's an old car, okay? Here is the axle. It's a quarter inch dowel, so it's a quarter inch in diameter, a wooden dowel, and it's glued to this wheel. If I flip this over here, you can see that it is connected and so it gets glued to this wheel, goes through the body. Here's the axle, goes through the body here and is glued to the other wheel so that when one wheel spins, the other wheel spins. It's a solid axle, quarter inch in diameter. Okay? And these are the three quarter inch thick wheels, three quarter inch thick plywood body panels. Okay? So when we draw these, you want to make sure that the axles aren't located on the bottom edge of the wood. 
because then when you lift your car up, only half of the axle will be in the body. It will fall out. So what I like to do is have a minimum, a minimum of basically a quarter of an inch under the wood, uh, under the bottom of the, uh, of the axle. So if you look at this dimension here, this axle is a quarter inch in diameter. Okay, I didn't dimension it so we could talk about it. Okay, so it's a quarter inch in diameter. From here to the bottom of the body is three-eighths of an inch. So a quarter minus three-eighths, I'm sorry, an, an eighth of an inch minus three-eighths gives me a quarter inch of material. So basically, this is what we're going to do. You'll see what I mean. We're going to measure up three-eighths of an inch. Okay, so three-eighths, we haven't done this yet. We've done five-eighths, we haven't done three-eighths is every two lines, one-eighth, two-eighths, three-eighths. It's two lines before a half, okay? Two lines before a half. So I'm gonna measure up three-eighths of an inch on the half scale, make a mark. I'm going to make a very light line across, okay? I'm gonna do a very light line across, and I'm just gonna go right across here, okay? Very light line, and now what I'm going to do is get my, uh, my circle template. And these wheels are two inches in diameter. So we're drawing them half size. So that would mean that they would be drawn with the one inch circle template. Okay, I think it goes this way. There it is, the one-inch circle template. So here's, the, here's the, the important part. You don't want to make the center of your axle, or your, you don't want your axle going anywhere touching this hidden line or inside of this piece of wood. Touching this hidden line or inside this piece of wood. You don't want your axles here. Because then, imagine, you would have to... drill all the way through this piece of wood, all the way through this piece of wood, and this piece of wood. You can see this axle right here. It's only going through this piece and this piece. All of this would, A, be very hard to drill in a line on a drill press, and B, it creates a lot of friction for this axle. So we want low friction when our axles spin. In real life, axles are mounted on bearings to reduce the friction of when they spin. So what I'm going to do is, for this drawing, you can put these two wheels anywhere you want, just don't put them, have the axles inside of that connecting piece of wood. So I'm just going to randomly pick a spot with my T-square here. I think I'll go right here, is good. I'm going to make a nice light line for a center line, and I'll do another one right over here. Again, you can randomly place where you want them. I'm trying to get you guys to think about this so that when you go to design your own car, you'll have a better feel of how to do it. Now I'm going to take the circle template, line up the crosshairs of the circle template with the crosshairs that I just made, and I'm going to draw my first wheel, and I'll do the same thing over here. Okay, line it up. When you go to design your cars, your real cars, you can make any size wheels you want. Okay, so there are my, there's my wheel and axle. Okay, let me see if I could just run like that. I'm sorry, my wheels. Now let's draw the axles. So we said the axles are quarter inch diameter. They're quarter inch wooden dowels. Half of a quarter is an eighth of an inch. So right here, is the eighth of an inch circle template, okay? So I'm going to do my best to center that. Okay, I think it's actually, it's this one right here. I'm gonna try to do my best to center that on my crosshairs, okay? And draw my axle and do the same thing here, eighth of an inch, whoops, center it on my crosshairs. Okay. That looks good. I think it's time to erase. Okay, so this, this drawing has a little bit of a, 
eraser shield work. So I'm going to take my time and really use this eraser shield as accurately as I can. It's going to be a little tough, I won't lie. I think I'm actually going to use my pencil eraser because it gives me even more precision. Almost there. You may have to go over a couple of your lines that you may have inadvertently erased. Okay, a couple more. All right, so if you look at this, okay, you can see that these wheels are in front of the body, but the body continues behind it. Let's draw some hidden lines to show that the body continues behind it. These will be kind of easy. You can actually just take your eraser shield and just slice some of the edges, okay? Or if you want, you could erase the whole line and Okay, it's a little hard to see. I'll do one more right here. That looks good. Okay, I have a nice little hidden, hidden line right there. Okay, and then here, I'll do the same thing. Hidden line. And I'll do another one right here. And maybe one more right at the edge there. Cool. Okay. So the front view's done. We're missing the motors, but we're gonna we're gonna draw them. Actually, no, we're gonna do them now. Okay. So the motors. The motors get mounted onto the car with these wire clamp straps. They're screwed in. And then the motor has a pulley. And that spins a rubber band, so when you power the motor, this wheel will spin like this or like this, forward or reverse. Okay, so the, motor, the motors are, uh, they overhang the edge of the, of the car here, okay, and the pulley is in line with the groove that's cut into the wheel so that the rubber band is nice and straight. If it was crooked, the rubber band would, would fall off. If, if this groove wasn't aligned with that groove, then the rubber band would fall off. We're not going to draw the clamps, and, the, and we're just going to draw a cylinder to represent the motor. Okay? And so um, we can decide whether we want to have rear-wheel drive or front-wheel drive. Okay? And uh, we'll say that this is the back of the car. Okay? So the left side is the back of the car. To drive forward, the car drives in this direction. Okay. Um, in class, we'll talk about the differences between rear-wheel drive, front-wheel drive, and four-wheel drive. Okay. So for this one, I'm going to do uh, four-wheel drive. Okay. It's I'm not saying it's the best. Okay, because it, it is not. Um, so the motors are going to be in real life. The motors are about seven eighths in diameter. Okay, they're about seven eighths in diameter. So we're gonna draw them, we're gonna say that they're seven eighths in diameter. So half of seven eighths, okay, I'll show you how to find half of seven eighths, is you just double the bottom number. Seven eighths times one half equals 
7 times 1 is 7. 8 times 2 is 16, is 7 sixteenths. So we're going to use the 7 sixteenth circle template. Okay, and that is, where is that? Here's half, 7 sixteenths. Okay, so that is right over here. Is that right or is that this one? Let me see. It's this one. Okay, so this one right here, 7 sixteenths. Okay, they're going to just sit right on top. You can put them anywhere you want. So if I'm going to say uh, four-wheel drive, I'll put one above the rear wheel, and then I'll put one above the front wheel. Okay. So let's see. This video is 20 minutes now, okay? I'm going to just make the bounding box for the top view, and then we'll call it, we'll call it a day. So... Um, Let's measure up from the top of the motor two real inches. Okay, we're going to go two real inches from the top of the motor. Make a mark. Make a light line across. Okay, and then now I have to figure out what the overall width of the car is. So, we know that this middle piece here is two inches. Okay, we also know that all the wood is three quarter inches. So let's just start adding up. Okay, three quarters plus three quarters, the two wheels, it's the same as 75 cents plus 75 cents, a dollar fifty or one and a half. Okay, so these two wheels are one and a half thick plus a three quarter inch thick body panel, another three quarter inch thick body panel. That's another one and a half inches. Okay, so one and a half plus one and a half is the same as a dollar fifty plus a dollar fifty. So that's three dollars plus two dollars. Three plus two, the total width of the car is five inches. Okay, so I did that on purpose so we could do that math together and we'll review it in class. So I'll start at the five, I'll make a mark at zero, okay, and then. I'm going to make a nice line over here, and then we'll uh, just project up from the far end right over here. Let me get that up there. And then right here. Okay. Okay, we'll erase this. And... We'll start the top view in the next video in the next class. Guys, thanks for watching. I hope that was helpful. I will see you in class.